Hello everyone, welcome to Analytics with Asmi. In today's video, we will discuss one of the most asked SQL query in the interviews is to find the nth highest salary of the employee. Here, n means second highest, third highest and so on. We will solve this query in five different ways. Because in interview, when you solve any query, they might ask you to solve in other ways. So, you must know all other ways to solve it. And if you solve it in five different ways, which I am going to tell you in this video, he will definitely get impressed by your in-depth knowledge of SQL. So, let's start today's video. In today's video, we are going to use this employee's data set which I have created in my SQL. Here you can see I have created first a demo database and in demo database, I have created this employees table where we have a three column employee ID, employee name and salary. Then I have inserted some records. I have inserted near about six records. And to retrieve a data from the table employees, I have used select star from employees and we got this data. So here you can see there are three columns employee ID, employee name, salary. We have six records. Okay. And here you can note that row number two and three are same. Their duplicates are present in this salary column. Okay. Now, Let's see our first approach to find the nth highest salary in MySQL. In our first approach, we are going to use the MAC function to find the nth highest salary. So, let's see how to find the second highest salary here. Here we have used MAX and subquery. Observe this inner query first. Here I have written that select MAX salary from employees. This query will fetch the highest salary from the employee table. So, here if we just execute this query, we will get the answer as 8 lakh because it is giving us the maximum salary present in this employee table. Right? But our question is to find the second highest salary, which is a 6 lakh. So, we will write a outer query here. Select max salary from employees where salary is less than this inner query and inner query is giving output as a 8 lakh okay so our query is becoming select maximum salary from employees where salary is less than 8 lakh this is the output of this inner query so this query now will fetch a maximum salary which is less than 8 lakh. So, when we execute this query, we will get the answer as a 6 lakh. We, are, we, we will get a second highest salary in the employee table as a output. Hope this is clear to you. Now, let's see practically. Here, I have opened the MySQL again. Here, I have written the same query. Select max salary from employees where salary is less than inner query. Okay, now if we execute only this inner query, okay, now you can see here we are getting the 8 lakh which is a maximum salary and if we execute this whole query where it is written that select maximum salary from employee table where salary is less than this 8 lakh. So, we will get the second highest salary. Now, if we execute this. Now here you can you can see we are getting the second highest salary. So this is how you can find the second highest salary by using the max and subquery. Now what if they ask you to find the third highest salary using a max function? Then we have to add one more inner query like this which is exactly same as before. Here we have added just one more inner query. This innermost query will give you the highest salary. Then the second innermost query will give you the second highest and the final outer query will give you the third highest. But this is not a good approach. If you want to find the third, fourth or fifth highest, then this query will become more complex. So to get a third highest or a fourth highest salary, we are going to use the another approach by using a limit clause to solve this query. But first, let us understand how limit clause works. Here you can see the query 
select salary from employees we are fetching a data from employees table order by salary so by using this order by we are getting salary in a descending order descending means highest salary is at the top okay then we have to write the limit clause limit 3 means it will fetch three records and offset 2 means it will start calculating the rows from after the row number 2 because offset is 2 so it will calculate from third row third fourth and fifth because we have to find the three rows because limit is giving three so it will be row number 3 4 and 5 and offset is 2 means it will fetch a record after row number 2 so it will be 6 lakhs 3 lakh and 2 lakh limit clause can be also written like this select salary from employees order by salary in descending order limit here we have to pass the two parameter here two means it will fetch record after a second row and the second parameter defines number of rows it will fetch so it will it will fetch a three records okay you can see here it is fetching the three records and two here is a offset means it will start calculating the rows after the second row so it will take from third row third fourth and fifth hope this is clear to you now let's calculate the second highest salary by using this limit clause now to find the second highest salary using a limit clause we are writing a query as select salary from employees table order by salary descending by using this order by descending you will get a salary in a descending order then we have written a limit clause 1 comma 1 first one is giving you the offset so it means it is giving first record after the first row which is this second highest and it will give you only the one record so we are getting this second highest salary which is a 6 lakh Using using this limit clause. Now, if we want to find the third highest salary, here we are using a query as select salary from employees table order by salary descending limit two comma one. Here we are writing limit two because we want a third highest salary. So you have to use here n minus one. Okay. So if I if you want to find the third highest then here you have to write the 2 if you want to find a fourth highest then you are, here you have to write as a 3 and how many rows you have to fetch you have to write here so we want just one row that's why we are writing here a 1 you have to change this first parameter only you have to use n minus 1 hope this is clear to you now but if we run this query we are getting answer as this 6 lakh but the third highest salary here is a 3 lakh as we are having here the duplicate value we are not we are we are getting the same salary so to get a distinct value of a salary we have to add here the distinct keyword okay now if we add a distinct keyword here you can see here select distinct salary from employees order by salary descending limit 2 comma 1 which is going to give you the third highest salary which is a 3 lakh as we are having here the duplicate value so if you get a data set where are the duplicate values are present then you have to use the distinct keyword otherwise if there are no duplicates then you can use without distinct keyword you should write select salary from employees order by salary descending limit 2 minus 1 2 comma 1 so 2 you have to write 2 because we you want a third highest if you want to find the fourth highest you have to write here 3 comma 1 okay so we are here we have find the third highest salary by using limit clause and the distinct keyword hope this is clear to you now let's see practically so in my sql to get a third highest salary using a limit clause i have you use the same query select distinct salary 
from employees order by salary descending limit to comma 1 now let's run this here you can see we are getting a third highest salary which is a 3 lakh hope this is clear to you now let's see the third approach using a self join here we are going to find the second highest salary by using a self join self join means we will compare employee table with itself so we will write a query as to get a second highest salary select salary from employees then we have written a temporary name of this first table as e1 where n minus 1 is equal to select count in bracket distinct salary from employees e2 which is also a temporary name for the second table where e2 salary is greater than e1 salary now here if we want to find the second highest salary so here we will put instead of n we will write here 2 so 2 minus 1 is 1 here okay now let's understand this inner query so what this inner query is doing it is counting a distinct salary so it will count the salary from the e2 where salary of e2 is greater than e1 means here each row of a salary is compared with the each row of a e1 okay now here if we consider the this second 6 lakh so this 6 lakh is getting compared with each row of a e1 table so here only one row is greater than this 6 lakh so here we are getting answer as a count as a 1. So where condition is getting satisfied, it is becoming true. 1 is equal to 1. That's why we are getting here the second highest. Now in case of a third highest salary, now here n will become 3. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. Okay. Now if we consider here again the same 6 lakhs. So here 6 lakhs is getting compared with each of the row of a e1 table. So here the count will come as a 1 because only 1 8 lakh is greater than this 6 lakh. So 2 is not equal to 1. So our condition is not satisfying. It is not true. So it is failed. Now if we consider now the 3 lakh here. If we consider this 3 lakh, this 3 lakh will get compared with each row of a even table. So here you can see that here 8 and 6 these are the two numbers which are greater than the 3 lakh. So we are getting we are getting answer count as a 2. So here the query will run as select salary from employees even where 2 is equal to 2 means our condition is true here. That's why we are getting the answer as a 3 lakh. So this is our right answer which is the third highest salary. Hope this is clear to you. If you don't understand this, you just question me in the comment box. Let's see the same self-join query practically in MySQL. Here I have written the same query, select salary from employees even where 2 because we are finding the third highest. So n minus 1 means 3 minus 1 is equal to 2, where 2 is equal to then I have written the inner query select. It is counting the distinct salary from the employee E2 table where salary of E1 is greater than salary of E2. And if we run this now, we are getting a third highest salary which is a 3 lakh. Hope this is clear to you now. Now let's see a fourth approach which is using a dense rank. So this is a advanced form of a SQL query which is called as a dense rank. We are using the window function here. Okay. Now let's first understand the difference between row number, rank and dense rank. So here if we see, here we have a ID, names and salary and row number, rank and dense rank. So here row number will generate a unique number for every row. Even one or more has the same value. Now here you can see this is 10,000, 1, 2, 3 and now here you can see this is a duplicate value 7,000, 7,000. But here we are getting 4, 5, 6. It is incrementing by 1. Even if 
the duplicate is present or not. So, this is a row number. Now, next is a rank. Now, rank will assign the same number for the row which contain the same value and skips the next number. Now, here you can see it is giving rank as 1, 2, 3. Now, here for the duplicate value, it is giving a same number, 4, 4. But now for the next number, it is skipping the 5 number and giving the 6 as a number. So, here in a rank, it is skipping the number if the duplicate value is present here. Okay, now for the dense rank, it will assign the same number for the row which contains the same value without skipping the next row. Here it is not skipping the next row. Here you can see for the 1000 it is 1, 9002, 8003, for 7004, 7004 and for 6000 it is giving a 5. It is not skipping. In the rank it is it has skips one value but here we are getting the next consecutive value which is a 5. So, this is the difference between row number, rank and dense rank. Hope you get it. Now, we are going to find the second and third highest by using this dense rank now. Now, first we are going to create a derived table using this dense rank. So, the query is select employee name salary dense rank. So, here in the select statement we have used employee name salary and dense rank. So, here in the table output, we are getting employee name, salary, dense rank over in bracket order by salary descending. This will arrange output in the descending order. Now, you can see the salary is ordered in a descending order. Highest salary is at the top. And new column salary rank is being added to this table as a salary rank from the employees. So, we have used this query to create this derived table. Now, if we want, if we want to find the nth highest salary, we are going to use, we are going to use this as an inner query. Okay. And we will, we will name this derived table as a temporary table. Okay. So, the query will, we will write as select star from, select star means we will get all the columns select star from this derived table which is a temporary table where salary rank is equal to n. So, if you want to find the third highest, we will write here as a 2. You can find any highest as per your requirement. Okay. So, if you want to find the third highest, we have to write here the 3. So, it will fetch a third highest salary from this derived table. Okay, now let's see practically. In my SQL, first we are going to create a derived table. So we have written the same query here select employee name, salary, dense rank over order by salary descending as a salary rank from employees. So let, let's run this. Now here you can see we got a three column employee name, salary in descending. Then we got another new column which is a salary rank, which is giving a rank in a dense rank form without skipping it. Okay. Now, if we create an outer query here and keep that as the inner query, then it will fetch a third highest because we are going, we have given the condition where salary rank is equal to 3. So, if we run this now, you can find we are getting a third highest salary and the employee name along with it because we have given this select star. So, it, it is fetching all the columns and it is fetching a third highest from this derived table. Okay. And we are getting the third highest. This is how we are going to calculate the third highest salary using a dense rank. Hope this is clear to you. Up till now, we have seen the four approach. First was using the max. Second was using the limit. Third approach was using the self-join. And the fourth was using the dense rank. Now, we are going to see the fifth approach which is using not in and not equal. So, to find the second highest salary, here we are using the subquery again. So, here the query is select max salary from employees. It will give you the maximum salary which is 8 lakh. Then, we are going to write the outer query. The outer query will be select maximum salary from employees 
where condition where salary not in 8 lakh okay so it will give you the second highest same way we are going to use the not equal to select here also we are creating the inner query select maximum salary from employees which will give the result at 8 lakhs then we are going to write the outer query as select maximum salary from employees where salary not equal to 8 lakh so it will fetch the same result which is uh, going to give you the second highest salary from the employee table but with the help of not in and not equal to operator you can only get the second highest salary it will not work in other cases like third highest and fourth, high, fourth highest for that you have to use the other approaches okay now let's see practically how we can do in mysql in mysql i have written the same query using not in operator and not equal to so here i have written select max salary from employees where salary not in inner query select max salary from the employees so if we run this we are going to get a second highest salary which is a 6 lakh okay same way if we run this we have to just write instead of not in we have to write this not equal to operator okay just select this and run this we are getting the same result so this is how we can find the second highest salary using not in and not equal to operator we can't find third highest and fourth highest by using this approach but we can use other approaches to get the third highest and fourth highest okay if you find this video helpful please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you like this video please share with your friends see you in the next video thank you for watching